Can you give me a twirl? Yay! Ah, oh, beautiful! <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to episode 52 of the Sew Not Scary series. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to sew a simple skirt for beginners using our mini sewing machine. Hooray! Okay, so here I've got some really beautiful fabric. Okay, it's really soft. Um, my mom got this for me a few months ago. I think it's called a linen silk or something, but it's actually not silk, it's just re really soft, flowy cotton, almost like a lawn, but thicker. Okay, and I'm gonna keep this super simple. I don't even want to talk numbers with you guys, okay? Because you guys decide uh, what size of a skirt you wanna make. So very simply put, the width of this fabric is enough to wrap twice around my daughter's waist, okay? So I literally, I didn't use any measuring tape. I literally stood my daughter up and I wrapped it around her waist and if it went around her waist, boom, that's it. It's perfect, okay? And the length is just four inches longer than the point that my daughter said, oh, mommy, this is how long I want my skirt to be. So I literally held up this part of the fabric up to her belly button. And uh, she said, oh, I want it to be as long as my knees. She pointed it out. So I literally took a little ruler. I added four inches and I snipped it and I ripped it. And that's my fabric all measured out, okay? So this is what we're going to do now. I'm going to fold one edge of the fabric over and give it a good press using a hot steam iron. And I'm going to continue to do this all along that long edge, folding it over and pressing it down until all that long edge is pressed over once. Now I'm going to roll this hem one more time, like so, okay? This is now going to be the bottom hem of our skirt. Now this is what we have to do. With the bottom hem, all I'm simply gonna do is do a nice straight stitch all along this edge, okay? Just simple, nice straight stitch, no complications. Okay, here we are. Um, my mini sewing machine is all set up. I have threaded the top and the bottom uh, bobbin with black thread because my fabric is primarily black. I'm not going to reverse stitch at the beginning or the end because these ends will be enclosed within a seam anyway, okay? And this is the bottom hem, so I'm just going to sew a nice straight stitch all the way from one end down to the other end. Let's do this. One more thing that I did before starting is that I did a test run on a scrap piece of fabric to make sure that the thread tension is set appropriately and that the machine is actually able to cope with this fabric which is all the very flimsy and thin but because we're working with almost three layers of fabric the machine appears to be coping well on the test run so let's do this So one thing I wanted to point out while sewing a larger piece of fabric such as this is that the fabric kind of pulls and tugs onto this side where there is more draping, okay? So while the extension table is helping, it's still pulling and tugging once I sew bits of it forward, okay? So make sure that you keep adjusting the bulk of the fabric on the back towards this side, okay? Otherwise, what's happening is that it's pulling towards this side and pulling on this nice crisp edge that we uh, pressed down earlier, okay? So make sure that you just keep adjusting the bulk of the fabric accordingly as you sew. Okay, so let me quickly show you what I've done so far. We've hemmed the bottom edge, okay, and we've given the seam a good press so that, so that the stitches lie nice and flat, okay? Now, this is what we're gonna do next. What I want to do is make a French seam like we did in this video, okay? And here's how we're gonna do it. So, here's the wrong side of the skirt, okay, and that's the bottom hem. I'm going to fold the skirt in half with the wrong sides facing each other, okay? I'm going to line up this edge really well, okay? And I'm going to sew a nice straight line all along this edge. I'm going to anchor the fabric in place using some pins. Okay. 
Okay, so that's all the pins done. Now we're going to take this to our mini sewing machine and sew a nice straight stitch all the way along this edge, okay? All the way to, down to the bottom. And this time I am going to reinforce the stitches in the beginning and at the end. Let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to reinforce or lock the stitches at the beginning by using the swivel around method as we discussed in this video, okay? So you can see, I hope you can see, I've placed the needle um, inside the edge, not right at the edge, okay? The needle is inside the fabric. Now I'm going to lift the presser foot and swivel the whole project around 180 degrees. And I'm going to sew back over right to the edge. Okay, so now that we've reached the edge, I'm going to lift the presser foot again, swivel the whole project around. I'm going to lower the presser foot and continue to sew as normal. The first step of good sewing practice is always to press your seams. So I'm going to run a hot iron along this seam to really bury the thread and make it fuse really well with the fabric. Okay, so now I've pressed the seam down. Now to make the French seams like we made in this video, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to take a pair of really sharp pair of fabric scissors and cut the fabric as close as possible to that seam or to that stitching thread okay so leaving just a couple of millimeters I'm going to trim away the extra fabric okay so now we've trimmed away this extra fabric here's what we're going to do we're going to flip this inside out okay so now this is the wrong side of the fabric and here you can see that's the lower hem. Now what I'm going to do is press down this seam on the wrong side. So do you see this seam? I'm just going to give it a good press, okay? Now what we're going to do is sew a nice straight stitch all along this edge and closing that raw edge, okay? And that's going to give us a nice sealed French seam which is very comfortable for children to wear. Let's do that. And as before I'm going to do a reverse stitch at the beginning and at the end. Okay so our French seams have come through beautifully and I've pressed it down as well and this here you can see this is the wrong side of the fabric and still look how beautiful that seam looks, okay? There are no raw edges. It's really neat and comfortable and it looks really well finished. That's the bottom hem and look how neat it looks, okay? But now the last thing that we need to do by means of stitching this garment actually is to make a tube on top to run the elastic through. This is what we have to do. We have to fold down the top once, press it down, and then fold it down again, okay, to make a channel to sew the elastic through, okay, or to run the elastic through. Let's do that. Okay, so I folded over the edge of the fabric twice, as you can see to create a tube in which we can run our elastic. Now, one more thing that we need to do is leave an opening through which we need to put the elastic through. So because my fabric was black, I took the silver pen and I marked out these two points so that I remember not to sew in between them, okay? And now what we're going to do is sew a nice straight stitch all the way along, okay, going all the way around the skirt and at the beginning, which is the silver point and the other silver point, we are going to reinforce or lock the stitches. And I'm going to use the technique we discussed called the reverse kangaroo hop. 
you can find it in this video and I'm going to use a reverse kangaroo hop to reinforce the stitches at these lower points let's go ahead and do that Okay, so we're now approaching that bit um, in sewing where we have to go over this French seam. So obviously there are multiple layers of fabric here to go through. So like we looked at this hack in this video, I'm going to press down on my presser foot using my small pair of scissors to go over this hill. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that's the top, really beautiful and neat. This is the inside French seam. Look how neat it is, no raw edges anywhere. And that's the bottom hem, okay? So pretty much all of the large bits of sewing is now done on the skirt. Now we need to insert the elastic through those holes that we made in the upper tube, okay? And then secure that elastic and close the tube. Let's do that. I've got this two centimeter wide elastic that, that I'll be using for the skirt today. Simply put it around your child's waist, see what feels comfortable. And I'm going to leave around, I think, one to two inches extra so that we can overlap the edges um, and secure the elastic. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now I've cut the elastic out by measuring around my daughter's waist. And I left around two inches um, extra so that we can kind of overlap the edges and sew. Okay, so I'm going to use a large safety pin to thread it through the skirt. I'm just going to clip it to one end and let's go ahead and do this. Here's the opening as you can see with those two silver marks. Okay, so it opens up there. We're going to thread this elastic through. Here we go. I'm going to overlap the edges like so, okay? I'm gonna pin them together. And now I'm going to go back and forth over this overlap, okay, several times. Let's do that. Okay, let me quickly show you what I've done. So I hope you guys can see this, but I've gone back and forth over the elastic several times um, in this uh, weird squiggly uh, fashion. I made crisscrosses, I went back and forth, just uh, whichever way um, I can make sure that this, the elastic is firmly secured, okay? Okay, so we're just gonna hide the elastic inside. So when we stretch the waistband, it hides inside very easily, so you can see. And now we just have to sew over this opening, okay? Um, and I'm just going to go, I suppose, back and forth over it uh, twice. Um, and that should do it. That's it. And I'm, I'm just going to manually knot these threads and snip them off. And there you have it. Look, it's ready. I've just hung it up. I think it looks absolutely beautiful, but you will get a better idea of what it looks like when it's on um, uh, somebody wearing it. So let me show you what it looks like. Miss Sophie, would you like to try this on? Yeah. Can you give me a twirl? Yay! Ah, oh, beautiful! <laughs>